ate something, wasn't that hungry, but pretty much had to eat. Uh, got some cow soy, some fried shrimp, like deep fried, I guess, shrimp, kind of tempura, in water. Um, that, I think, you know, honestly, I thought it was really good. Uh, the, it got okay reviews, but, um, you know, I thought it was pretty solid. Um, the, there's a lot of tourists. First of all, in Nimmin, there's a lot of tourists, and, but they're mostly Chinese tourists compared to, I mean, there's more Western people in downtown, uh, for sure. Um, I don't know why. You know, I don't know. I've been in Nimmin for two hours. I don't really, you know, I don't know, but uh, the reasoning for that, but just an observation. Um, I've seen some Westerners, of course, but um, not many. <clears throat> um, but uh, basically uh, a lot of shows, another guy over there. So well, that's you know pretty much the honorary consulate uh, for the Russian Federation. Not burned down. That's good, I guess. I don't know. What do I know? Um, yeah, the council was good. It was like um, it was only like nine, it was like ninety baht, and the, or no, yeah, that was like ninety baht shrimp was like 100 something but um you know all that for under seven bucks i don't think you can beat it um that that got really good like it's like i don't know if it was michelin reviewed um it was a really good uh restaurant as far as um you know had good i guess credentials as far as that goes um but uh you uh he, that guy thought the camera was aimed at him but it's aimed at me um so basically, um, that's what we're looking at. I should aim it out. Who, who wants to I definitely should go this way. That's another problem. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the wide angle that we want to see. Um, so yeah, I mean that's pretty much what it was it was it was good. It was good. It was a good deal. Um, I think I don't know. happy with it. <clears throat> so now for dessert, I was gonna go to that pie shop that I initially got, uh, landed on, um, but I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna, gonna, you know, cancel that because it closes in about half an hour, it's gonna take me a couple minutes to get there, and, um, I can get good pie at home, man, someone lives there, that's a, that's a nice crib, um, yeah, I think that someone lives there, somebody with money. So that's another thing I've read about, you know, Thailand in general is you know, rich people, people who are rich, they don't really like live in rich neighborhoods per se. They just kind of, you know, build where they want to live. And if they, they're worried about theft, they just put a wall up. So, <laughs> you know, that guy, you know, probably had some money. So same with this person over here. Um, you know, that's you know, not a huge house, but very nice. Um, wall around it, nice trees and stuff. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah, that's uh, the cars in the garage, or the parking area. Um, but yeah, so uh, that was good, a good dinner. Now, so instead, what I'm going to do is rather than um, walk back, or rather than take a bike back where I came from, I'm going to walk to the western edge of, what's yellow, what is this, I don't know what that is, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to walk back to the western side of downtown, and there's this like, I don't know what it is, like a soft bun, Chinese like bun shop, um, I mean, it's not Thai, but you know, I don't know that I can get something like that back at home. They have savory, sweet, so forth and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and go over there. See if I get there. It closes at 8. It's 6.30 now. should be there with plenty of time to grab that. And um, yeah, I mean, we'll be good to go. And uh, I should even it out, honestly. Who, who wants to see me? You can see where I'm walking. It's much more for the viewer, I don't know, you, you see both, I watch other YouTubers, and, you know, I mean, 
a YouTuber, but um, they're stupid idiots who go around towns and film themselves go around towns. Uh, I don't know. Is this a dead end? You gotta be kidding me. This is a dead end. That's 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 stupid. Alright. So anyway, alright, we're gonna have to go all the way back around. It's gonna take me 20 minutes, take about two kilometers away from where I am now. So um I'm pretty sure this is a better view. This is the wide angle view, not the up and down view. It seems to be better. I can't tell. Usually if the record button's up or down, either facing directly up or directly down, I'm getting a wide angle. The other way, I'm getting a, the up and down angle, the high angle or something. So, you know, I don't know. We're gonna go this way, but we're gonna back where we came from, which is you know, annoying for me. But, um, you know, I wasted, that wasted a good five, ten minutes, but, um, <clears throat> all right, well, anyway, well, now we get to see where I walk, so, we're going to go ahead and do this, probably, I bet you can hear better this way, too, I'm just holding it right up to my body, and I can, you know, you know raise it up high if I want to, so, <clears throat> um, yeah, this will be all right. Okay, so two kilometers away. Should take me 20, a couple of minutes to get there. Shouldn't be bad. We're going to try to get these buns or whatever they're called. And I forget what they're even called. Let's see if we can remember. We're going to go in the Western Gate, which I've never been to. It's a steamed buns. That's right. So, like I said, it closes at 8. It's 6.30 now. It's plenty of time. Plenty of time. That's kind of cool looking. I don't know what that is, but um, yeah, a lot, tons of tours here in Nimmin. Tons. I wish I knew. I mean, this is a, like kind of a, I don't know, like a hipster neighborhood, I think. Um, so this isn't because I would really. I should get in that. I should get in a tuk tuk. You never see tuk. You know, tuk tuks. That's a, that's a Bangkok thing, I think. It, yeah, I haven't seen many tuk tuks here in. Uh, Chiang Mai, really anywhere. Seen them, definitely seen them, but not many. Um, people be taking grabs these days and having their own, even having their own motorbikes. You could, you know, running a motorbike. They probably rent one for about 200 baht a day. Uh, so that's, you know, not bad, I guess. Uh, and you probably get a break if you, you know, price break if you rent for the week, I would assume. Um, I didn't seriously look into it though. But it would add a lot. Of, it would obviously make things a lot more convenient. Parking and motorbikes are... Wouldn't want to have a car. No chance I would want to have a car here. That would be terrible. Um, but, you know, the motorbike, you can just park essentially anywhere. You can find space. And you can eke out, eke out a parking spot. But you had this grab guy up here. Obviously a different guy, but um, that's essentially what I rode to get up here. Rode on the back of this. We'll go right by him and you see... He kept his, uh, when I rode it, the guy had his bag or his box of the food, um, you know, in the front. And then I sat on the pillion there, and, or road pillion. Did he sit on it? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that even means, but, yeah. So, and I'm pretty sure I bang right here, and then, um, no, I bang a left. The thing I checked wouldn't have been the end of the world, I don't think, but, you yeah, know, we're banging a right here, left here, and then a right. Okay, we're banging right up at this thing. So that's good. <clears throat> um, yeah, Monday Diner, real agree. Yeah, we, I came from this area. I went right by that on the way here on the bike, so I guess, yeah, that makes sense. I'm going back where I came from. That makes sense why that would happen, but I'm going to have to figure out a way to get across here. That's going to be a, an adventure. Traffic is gonna. Like I was gonna let me go, but you know, I, you never know. Because some people don't care, some people do. Motorbikes don't care, and they don't let anybody go. Here's where. No, 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 no. All right, we'll be good after this freaking Steve Urkel-looking car goes. Whoops. 
Yeah, that's right. We're not in the States anymore. It still gets me sometimes. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, there's a one way or two lanes going the same way. You know? <laughs> hey, all right. Yeah, almost. I, that guy probably had a heart attack. A little light one, a small one. I mean, not a big heart attack, but I had a small one too. You know what I mean? Oh, haircut. Yeah. Gentleman's haircut 300, 350, too much. Go downtown and get one for half that. Or I could really just chop my own hair off in my own house, and like I did do, and you know, looks like crap, I think. But you know, I, I want to cut the back and the sides. I don't know why I'm talking. I no one's ever going to listen to this or hear this. But, uh, therapeutic. I haven't had a discussion. I, I guess I did have a discussion with with uh, Chet yesterday. Talked with him for a good four hours, but basically, um, you know. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. I'll continue going right here. Oh, that'll that'll work. That'll work. That'll work good. And then we're just gonna go ahead and take this. to the river. Alright, so when we get to the corner, still a K and a half to go, 1,600 meters. Um, <clears throat> but we should be good to go. We should be able to follow this until we get back to the walls and, you know, look around them in a little bit. Uh, you know, probably wouldn't stay out here. Yeah. Definitely wouldn't stay out here if I didn't have a motorbike. That's the only way I would stay out here. Another barber shop. So 300 is going. Hey, go look at these numbers here. So for a 110, you're looking at 200, 1200 for a week, 2900 for the month, and it scales up from there. One day for a 500. I don't know why you would ever rent a 500 here. You don't need it uh, unless you were going 